My morning devotion this morning is when God takes something from you, he's going to give you something better. I'm going to say that again because I don't want you to miss that. When God takes something from you, he's going to give you something better. My friend uh, from 30 years ago, my basketball buddy called me last night. I hadn't talked to him. And he opens the conversation with the real prime time before that was prime time. You see, we once had aspirations of an NBA life. We were phenomenal basketball players. We had the height, we had the size, we had the skills. But that wasn't the life God had for either of us. He went on to get cut from multiple NBA teams. He had more resilience than me at the time. I got cut from one NBA team and I couldn't take it. My self-esteem was in the toilet. My self-worth was in the toilet because I thought that I should have been on the team. And when I realized there are a lot of people like you in the world and maybe you weren't just good enough. But I tell you, when God takes something from you, he gives you something better. The objective for me was not to play NBA basketball. I could have never dreamed about this life of influence that I'm having at this time. I couldn't have dreamed being an officer in the United States Army touching billions of people. That's right. I said billions. My message for you this morning is stay the course. The race is not to the swift, but to those who endure. Sometimes you think you're being buried, but you're actually being planted. Follow God's will. When he takes something from you, he's going to give you something better. As a chaplain in the United States Army, man, what a great opportunity to help people behind the scenes. I can't quantify it, I can't qualify it, I can't put it on reports, and I don't need to. But what a great opportunity to serve some of the greatest leaders and soldiers that the world has ever seen and some they will never know. When God takes something from you, he gives you something better. I would have liked to play in the NBA, but my life, I believe, would be much different. I believe that would have been a tragedy for me. It's me feed it. <laughs> a guy who fed. When people admire me for dunking a ball in a basket. Now I don't care about any of that. All I care about is serving God's people taking care of soldiers and leaders. I don't need your awards. I don't need adulations. All I need is for the soldiers or the leaders to come back and say, well done, well done. Don't let that go over your head. When God takes something from you, he gives you something better. Have a great day. Woo! Let's in come say amen.